Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea officially the Republic of Equatorial Guinea is a country located on the west coast of Central Africa, with an area of 28,000 square kilometers 11,000 square miles. Formerly the colony of Spanish Guinea, its post-independence name evokes its location near both the equator and the Gulf of Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is the only sovereign African state in which Spanish is an official language. As of 2015, the country had a population of 1,225,377. Equatorial Guinea consists of two parts, an insular and a mainland region. The insular region consists of the islands of Bioko formerly Fernando Po in the Gulf of Guinea and Anabon, a small volcanic island that is the only part of the country south of the equator. Bioko Island is the northernmost part of Equatorial Guinea and is the site of the country's capital, Malabo. The Portuguese-speaking island nation of São Tomé and Príncipe is located between Bioko and Anabon. The mainland region, Rio Muni, is bordered by Cameroon on the north and Gabon on the south and east. It is the location of Bata, Equatorial Guinea's largest city, and Ciudad de La Paz, the country's planned future capital. Rio Muni also includes several small offshore islands, such as Corisco, El Lobe Grande, and El Lobe Chico. The country is a member of the African Union, Francophonie, OPEC, and the CPLP. Since the mid-1990s, Equatorial Guinea has become one of Sub-Saharan Africa's largest oil producers. It has subsequently become the richest country per capita in Africa, and its gross domestic product GDP, adjusted for purchasing power parity PPP, per capita ranks 43rd in the world, however, the wealth is distributed extremely unevenly, with few people benefiting from the oil riches. The country ranks 144th on the 2019 Human Development Index, with less than half the population having access to clean drinking water and 20% of children dying before the age of 5. Equatorial Guinea's government is authoritarian and has one of the worst human rights records in the world, consistently ranking among the worst of the worst in Freedom House's annual survey of political and civil rights. Reporters Without Borders rank President Teodoro Obiang Nguema Mabasogo among its predators of press freedom. Human trafficking is a significant problem, the 2012 U.S. Trafficking in Persons report stated that Equatorial Guinea is a source and destination for women and children subjected to forced labor and forced sex trafficking. The report rates Equatorial Guinea as a government that does not fully comply with minimum standards and is not making significant efforts to do so. History of Equatorial Guinea Pygmies probably once lived in the continental region that is now Equatorial Guinea but is today found only in isolated pockets in southern Rio Muni. Bantu migration started probably around 2000 BCE from between southeast Nigeria and northwest Cameroon. They must have settled continental Equatorial Guinea around 500 BCE at the latest. The earliest settlements on Bioko Island are dated to 530 CE. The Anabon population, originally native to Angola, was introduced by the Portuguese via São Tomé Island. The Portuguese explorer Fernando Po, seeking a path to India, is credited as being the first European to discover the island of Bioko, in 1472. He called it Formosa, beautiful, but it quickly took on the name of its European discoverer. Fernando Po and Anabon were colonized by Portugal in 1474. The first factories were established on the islands around 1500 as the Portuguese quickly recognized the positives of the islands including volcanic soil and disease-resistant highlands. Despite natural advantages, initial Portuguese efforts in 1507 to establish a sugarcane plantation and town near what is now Concepcion on Fernando Po failed due to booby hostility and fever. The main island's rainy climate, extreme humidity, and temperature swings took a major toll on European settlers from the beginning, and it would be centuries before attempts restarted. In 1844, the British restored the island to Spanish sovereignty, and the area became known as the Territorios Español del Golfo de Guinea. Due to brutal epidemics Spain still refused to invest much in the colony, and in 1862 a brutal outbreak of yellow fever killed many of the whites that had settled on the island. Despite this, plantations continued to be established by private citizens through third quarter of the 19th century. The plantations of Fernando Po were mostly run by the black Creole elite, later known as Fernandinos. 
The British settled some 2,000 Sierra Leoneans and freed slaves there during their rule, and limited immigration from West Africa and the West Indies continued after the British left. A number of freed Angolan slaves, Portuguese African Creoles, and immigrants from Nigeria and Liberia also began to be settled in the colony where they quickly began to join the new group. To the local mix were added Cubans, Filipinos, Catalans, Jews and Spaniards of various colors, many of who had deported to Africa for political or other crimes, as well as some settlers backed by the government. Politics of Equatorial Guinea the current president of Equatorial Guinea is Teodoro Obiang. The 1982 Constitution of Equatorial Guinea gives him extensive powers, including naming and dismissing members of the cabinet, making laws by decree, dissolving the Chamber of Representatives, negotiating and ratifying treaties and serving as commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Prime Minister Francisco Pascual Obama ASUE was appointed by Obiang and operates under powers delegated by the president. During the four decades of his rule, Obiang has shown little tolerance for opposition. While the country is nominally a multi-party democracy, its elections have generally been considered a sham. According to Human Rights Watch, the dictatorship of President Obiang used an oil boom to entrench and enrich itself further at the expense of the country's people. Since August 1979 some 12 real and perceived unsuccessful coup attempts have occurred. According to a March 2004 BBC profile, politics within the country were dominated by tensions between Obiang's son, Teodoro Nguema Obiang Mang, and other close relatives with powerful positions in the security forces. The tension may be rooted in a power shift arising from the dramatic increase in oil production which has occurred since 1997. Geography of Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea is on the west coast of Central Africa. The country consists of a mainland territory, Rio Muni, which is bordered by Cameroon to the north and Gabon to the east and south, and five small islands, Bioko, Corisco, Anabon, Elobe Chico, Small Elobe, and Elobe Grande, Great Elobe. Bioko, the site of the capital, Malabo, lies about 40 kilometers, 25 miles, off the coast of Cameroon. Anabon Island is about 350 kilometers 220 miles west-southwest of Cape Lopez in Gabon. Corisco and the two Elobe Islands are in Corisco Bay, on the border of Rio Muni and Gabon. Equatorial Guinea lies between latitudes 4 degrees north and 2 degrees south, and longitudes 5 degrees and 12 degrees east. Despite its name, no part of the country's territory lies on the equator, it is in the northern hemisphere, except for the insular Anabon province, which is about 155 kilometers 96 miles south of the equator. Climate of Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea has a tropical climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. From June to August, Rio Muni is dry and Bioko wet, from December to February, the reverse occurs. In between, there is a gradual transition. Rain or mist occurs daily on Anabon, where a cloudless day has never been registered. The temperature at Malabo, Bioko, ranges from 16 degrees Celsius 61 degrees Fahrenheit to 33 degrees Celsius 91 degrees Fahrenheit, though on the southern Mocha Plateau normal high temperatures are only 21 degrees Celsius 70 degrees Fahrenheit. In Rio Muni, the average temperature is about 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Annual rainfall varied from 1,930 mm 76 in at Malabo to 10,920 mm 430 in at Eureka, Bioko, but Rio Muni is somewhat drier. Economy of Equatorial Guinea before independence, Equatorial Guinea exported cocoa, coffee, and timber, mostly to its colonial ruler, Spain, but also to Germany and the UK. On 1 January 1985, the country became the first non-Francophone African member of the Franc Zone, adopting the CFA franc as its currency. The national currency, the Equelle, had previously been linked to the Spanish peseta. The discovery of large oil reserves in 1996 and its subsequent exploitation contributed to a dramatic increase in government revenue. As of 2004, Equatorial Guinea is the third largest oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa. Its oil production has risen to 360,000 barrels per day, 57,000 cubic meters d, up from 220,000 only two years earlier. 
Forestry, farming, and fishing are also major components of GDP. Subsistence farming predominates. The deterioration of the rural economy under successive brutal regimes has diminished any potential for agriculture-led growth. From 2000 to 2010, Equatorial Guinea had the highest average annual increase in GDP, gross domestic product, 17%. Education in Equatorial Guinea. Under Francisco Macias, education was neglected, and few children received any type of education. Under President Obiang, the illiteracy rate dropped from 73% to 13%, and the number of primary school students rose from 65,000 in 1986 to more than 100,000 in 1994. Education is free and compulsory for children between the ages of 6 and 14. The Equatorial Guinea government has partnered with Hess Corporation and the Academy for Educational Development AED, to establish a $20 million education program for primary school teachers to teach modern child development techniques. There are now 51 model schools whose active pedagogy will be a national reform. In recent years, with a change in the economic and political climate and government social agendas, several cultural dispersion and literacy organizations have been founded, chiefly with the financial support of the Spanish government. The country has one university, the Universidad Nacional de Guinea Equatorial UNGE, with a campus in Malabo and a faculty of medicine located in Bata on the mainland. In 2009 the university produced the first 110 national doctors. The Bata Medical School is supported principally by the government of Cuba and staffed by Cuban medical educators and physicians. Culture of Equatorial Guinea. In June 1984, the first Hispanic African Cultural Congress was convened to explore the cultural identity of Equatorial Guinea. The Congress constituted the center of integration and the marriage of the Hispanic culture with African cultures. Sport in Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea was chosen to co-host the 2012 African Cup of Nations in partnership with Gabon, and hosted the 2015 edition. The country was also chosen to host the 2008 Women's African Football Championship, which they won. The women's national team qualified for the 2011 World Cup in Germany. In June 2016, Equatorial Guinea was chosen to host the 12th African Games in 2019. Equatorial Guinea is famous for the swimmers Eric Musambani, nicknamed Eric the Eel, and Paula Barilla Balopa, Paula the Crawler, who had astoundingly slow times at the 2000 Summer Olympics. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, click on like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.